Hi, I'm Stephanie Horn and this is Bookkeeping Basics Monday Morning Minute. Today I will be discussing how to set up the chart of accounts in QuickBooks, the final steps. So step one was simply to set up your company in QuickBooks, which would then generate a general chart of accounts. And step two was then to make a list of any additional accounts needed that are more specific to your individual company. So step three then is going to be to add, edit, and delete. So you will start by comparing the list you made in step two to the general chart of accounts that was generated by QuickBooks in step one and adding, editing, or deleting by right-clicking on the account and choosing new, edit, or delete. Okay, step four will be to establish grouping and sub-accounts. For tax purposes, certain accounts can be grouped together, such as electricity, water, and gas can all be grouped under utilities. But for management purposes, you're going to want more detail. And QuickBooks allows you to set up sub-accounts just for this purpose. So using utilities as an example, to create a sub-account, you will click on new account. You're gonna check the box that says Sub account of, and then you would use utilities as the parent account. So now you know all the steps to how to set up a chart of accounts in QuickBooks. I look forward to seeing you again next Monday.